Hey guys, guess what? It's Sunday. We're just coming home from church and it's picking chicks day. It's the chicks. I've got the baby collies. I've got two broccoli heads and a cauliflower. So I had the bigger broccolis actually in the video where we cooked a meal after the wedding. Um, I will link that clip here in this video so that you see the bigger the bigger ones. Um, so when the they were bringing the bride home um, and cook supper after the wedding. So we had this is the broccolis I was talking about. We had brought them for the wedding for supper in the evening when they were bringing the makoti home, the bride, and yeah, we had made the um, vegetables for supper. So basically, we had leftover rice from yesterday that I didn't want to waste, and decided to make a soup for it. And that's what we're doing through through the broccoli and cauliflower and the soup. The chicks are enjoying their home, but the guinea fowls tend to be rude. They just hop on the box. <laughs> so they've got their feet there, and they've got some water over there. And so basically, during the day, we put them outside for the sun and we move them in the house in the evening for warmth. It's wild out there. I mean, are they not pecking on the small beds? No, the small beds have ran away. Oh, the small beds hid behind the... Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy! Oh, they're attracted to the feed. How can? How do they even know? They can smell. Hey, Bella, don't be attracted to the chicks. You see that you need one of those for for the big bits. You need more than one. I need a big one. But you could do with a couple of them, not just one. Yeah, maybe two. Bella, watching you. Watching you, girl. Watching you. Watching you, girl. Yeah, I'm putting my shade on the. Watching you, girl. Watching you. It's a real animal, animal farm. Amon is trying, is tempting fate here. So we, uh, so the other day when the, we brought them, one chick ended up in Moana's mouth. One moment I was recording a video, next thing I know, I'm on the step on those chicks. Next thing I know, a chicken's legs is dangling out of Moana's mouth. <laughs> and I went hysterical. And then she spit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bella, Bella has a thing for, for Fiki. It's like this all day, every day. Bella is it's a good thing there are small dogs and she doesn't do damage. Okay. Like I'm cutting the chicken. Because I couldn't get rid of Fiki, neither could I get rid of Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will love your dogs the way that you do. That's true. You've learned that the hard way. <laughs> You've learned that the hard way. And we won't add to that story. I always say to Amon that before he puts start a fire, he should 
bring your hose pipe closer that if we have a situation we can put it out and it's it's windy but he doesn't listen but i tell you something one time he made us run with buckets of water <laughs> Remember, Ami, when you made us run with buckets of water? And then one time it was our neighbor's worker. Salubanani, Kona. One time our neighbor's worker, he gets to the corner of our yard there by the tree and he bends down and lights a fire. I say to Amon, Amon, have you asked him to light the fire there? And she says, nope, he was just coming along the passage. And then next thing he bends down and starts a fire. That was strange. Bella! She's out. She went out somewhere out by the I don't know if she's in the yard but oh she's within the yard Bella is the crazy one she runs after these cows and sometimes I'm afraid that she will get um trampled anyways uh so the the work the next neighbor's worker just get to the corner and lights a fire and that was when we didn't have the fence between us and so I said to Amon, did you ask him to do that? And he was like, no. Next thing I knew, it was a Saturday afternoon. Next thing I knew, <laughs> the kids were running around with buckets to help put a fire. And I tried to say they must stay here where it's safe. And they wouldn't listen. Because it, it's, it's, it's normal in the village when there's a fire. All the families that are around where the fire is at. They run with buckets and they help put out the fire and whoever has a borehole everybody will be lining up at the house and putting out the fire so for those kids it's a normal response that you respond to the fire but <laughs> for me being responsible for minding people's children i didn't want them at the fire no matter how much i called them to come back they wouldn't anyways this one was was in the house just now and he keeps flying into the window of the door because they're thinking it's outside but he keeps bumping into the window the the four of them crack me up they always travel as a group this one is naughty it's a new edition it likes to go into the vegetable garden i guess he doesn't really feel at home with the others he usually does his own thing and you guinea fowls, you like to run a lot and the dogs love to chase whoever runs. Have you noticed that they run a lot, the guineas? The chickens just walk. The guineas, it's because the big one, the big one chases, chases the others. Yeah. It's a bully. It's a newcomer and it's a bully. Guys, have a look at these beautiful roses. I wish I could just transport the smell. They started opening yesterday. These ones kind of open wild um the red ones when they open they open i don't know how to say it with the shape of the rose kind of intact there's one open outside uh, but it's a bit old uh, but i wish i could transport the smell the smell is amazing wouldn't you say ami mm, i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to like comment subscribe tell all your friends about the channel and we'll see you next time bye bye